All right, um, this is going to be sort of a revival for my channel. I am going to be going over uh, Dinorama slash Jurassic shelf in my bedroom. So, um, obviously we'll start with the first. I got the Outpost Chaos playset. Custom made mountains by me. Just took some cardboard and some, like, holiday snow sort of stuff and some, like, gray spray paint and just made these mountains or resemble like the biosyn facility so um over here oh before um we get into this though I, I should mention this is not my whole entire collection i have way way more stuff than this this is just all the stuff that i can fit on the shelf and it's basically like the best of the stuff that i have so we got the alpha chaos got grand up there that metrodon that came with him rex eating this Falling Kingdom Soldier Dude that came with a pack, uh, Stiggy. There's Xenosaur, custom made pieces of wood and just spray painted them gray and put some fake plants on them. There's, um, Owen handling the Dilophosaurus. Claire's over there. Got Pyroraptor and, um, Kayla, the random guard that came with the Outpost Chaos. Quetza. Down there, I don't know if you can see, we got the other Dimetron on the Battle Damage one. And uh, that kind of does it for the whole entire Dominion bio something. So this is going to be the very, very like cool stuff. This is my Kenner collection so far. Um, I don't know if you saw on my profile picture, this is the custom painted Troll and Conquer Carnotaurus. I painted like the 94 demon carno have all the dino trackers jaws or harpoon harrison fell over but he barely stands with this thing comes with his little bracky hatchling got the pachycephalosaur missing the tiny tiny little clip things i have to go on their hands but those are pain to find little head action have the capture gear Got um, T Rex Turner has the backpack, but none of the arrows because I got most of these in a lot, and he won't stand. The, most of them won't stand because it's like soft fabric type material. But then we got Jaws Jackson over here. Got his hatchling over there, the little baby Dilophosaurus, and the big old bear trap. This is really cool though. This is the oh shoot, one of the things fell, but um. This is the series to Jungle Runner, basically the Dino Tracker's vehicle. Got this for got the um, the Harpoon Harrison, his Harpoon the Bracky, Jaws Jackson, and an Alan Grant complete from Series One, all for like thirty bucks off of eBay. It was a super good deal. And speaking of Alan Grant, that was the figure over here that fell down. This is my Series 2 shelf. This is my Series 1 shelf. This Owen Grant got it with that whole entire big $30 lot. Has a little net firing thing. Has a little pteranodon hatchling. Uh, don't know where it is because it fell. I'm probably going to have to find it later. But he does have a smoke bomb. This is the Young Rex. Missing the damage wound. But I got a pretty good deal on this on eBay too for like... Maybe I would say around 25 bucks, and it's really not in th that bad of a condition. Got a little custom made T Rex sign over there. And I don't didn't know where to put this, but this is the Lost World like hatchling egg. It has a little T Rex in it. Can't get it open because it's hard to do, but yeah, that's that shelf. Alright, so now we're moving on to Mattel stuff. I've been collecting Mattel stuff ever since the first one, 2018. This is, I like to call, my stupid expensive shelf stuff that I have for no reason. So, probably one of the crown jewels of my collection. Battle Damage Spinosaurus. Can't get the, has a little blood wound, with like the liquid blood inside of them. Have Dilophosaur, the one that squirts water. Still squirts water, surprisingly. The um, Proceratosaurus from Series 2. The Sukumimus, which the mechanism broke on him. But he's still good. Dilophosaurus that came with Nedry's Jeep. 
don't have the Jeep anymore. Don't ask why. Uh, Parasaurolophus right here. Dino Rivals. The Savage Strike Plesiosaurus. Not the battle damage one because that one's hard to find too. But this is the one that does little flappy flippers. If I could show. And my favorite out of all the Mattel stuff. The um, Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus and the Nosutoceratops. Okay, so I know I said that this is the crazy expensive stuff, but this is the crazy expensive stuff. These are the Mattel play sets. I got some random Dino Rivals cards over here. This is the Lava Search play set. I have the box over here. Got this back whenever it was on Amazon. Uh, not Amazon, it was on Walmart for like three days and then never restocked. So have some Baryonyx. Then I got the Structosaurus helicopter. Got that off of Amazon. It's only on for like a few days during Christmas and now it's off. It really, really sucks that I'm missing the dude. Like the little pilot dude that came with him. Looked like the um the guy off of Jurassic World who got like impaled by the Pteranodon. Missing him. And the little there used to be can't really tell. There's a little string for your characters to hang off of it there's a, supposed to be a little handle there that broke off like the day i got it it's turned on just so you know that it's destructor sores it has a little metal piece in its mouth i don't know if i can show that also a weird thing about the destructor sores they kind of have this copper-esque paint on them that's kind of like shimmery i don't know if you can see that but that's another one of the features of the Destructor Stores. Don't have the T-Rex set, though. I've never seen the T-Rex set. Also, the little slime lab play set. The Velociraptor's in the other room, but... Little slime lab play set. I gotta say, if you ever get any of these, the plastic on these is very, very flimsy. Like, I already got a crack up in there in it. It's supposed to be able to, like, twist it and the slime will come out. That part broke immediately after I got it. Here is more newer stuff. There's the the Site B Tracker. Battle Damage Pachycephalosaurus, which is another rarer one. A little tiny bumpy up there on the Capture and Crush truck with the little... I don't... It's really hard to see because my room doesn't have good lighting, but you have like the little... um. Like, they're releasing Rampage, that's what I'm trying to say. With Ghost in it. Here's the other expensive show. Can't really see it. Concavenator. Um, series 2. Um, Ceratosaurus. Stegosaurus. Allosaurus. Quote-unquote Sinoceratops, even though it's a, obviously a uh, Pachyrhinosaurus. Here's the little um, Stiggy that came with the dude the T-Rex is eating. That was from... The um, Fallen Kingdom. Oh, shoot, he fell. Also, gotta be one of my favorite Savage Strikes, which is the Monolophosaur. And not really much else to see. I have the Super Colossal T-Rex, Series 1, custom-made fences that I make. You'll soon find out that I freaking love cardboard. I have so much cardboard creations of stuff. I do repaints. Brachiosaurus, and don't know where to put them yet. This is my nightstand. Just recently got the Hammond Collection T-Rex at Target. It was the last one that they had. Super, super happy that I got this dude. Probably there's gonna be stop motions with him soon. Also got the the best book ever created. Um, the Hammond Collection Baryonyx. Some Jaws Funko Pops. Saving this, this is the um, Dr. Pepper blue can. No Jurassic World stuff here. I do got Godzilla Dominion, though. That's a good comic book and Stranger Things. And the Ford Explorer from the um, the T-Rex breakout set that came out in 2020. Uh, one final thing I would say is to, this really cool Dominion poster that I got at Five Below surprisingly big not like a tiny little poster but yeah that's about it there is still a bunch of other repaint stubs i have most of the dominion funko pops but 
that's about it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you stay tuned for this channel because I think you're going to see some pretty cool stuff in the near future. This is Demon Carnotaurus 95 and I'll see you guys later. See ya.